We ordered three bags of cement. This should be enough to get them started. We'll order some more if they need it. We managed to get them to drive in with a ute load of sand. That went okay. What we'll do is we'll put this on a ute and then drive the ute up and then we'll drop it off. So we're not taking the whole load in one go. So the, the driveway should be fine. I guess we're kind of halfway finished for the top part. Uh, the bottom part is a different story. But we'll do that as we go along. So we still got to do the back wall. And then I guess after they do the back wall then it's all chip work. Steps currently being done. It's about to do it anyway. So that's the steps. I left one, one like that, so I haven't topsoiled that yet. One because I ran out of soil, and the other reason is oh, they can just put all their rubbish and all their offcuts, just dump it there, and then we'll topsoil it. So that's, that's a good reason why I left it as well. So this is going to be built into a room. And I'll just paint over that. Just make it nice and affordable. Well, the window is up. It was really quick when they put the window up because we went home, came back, and realized oh, you yeah, put the window up. They're just doing the um, one of the door for the bedroom. So we put an outside door so that if we've got two people staying here and one wants to one wants to live in the living room and one wants to stay in the bedroom, they don't need to, you know, um, really see each other. They can just step in and out. I'll show you once I'm done. We decided to put that quite high because just in case of kids don't want any kids falling off that so we decided to put it quite high We've just had the sparky come in. Um, so how we're going to connect it is the wire is going to go from there through our house and then it's going to have a PVC pipe to hide the wires and then it's going to go all the way hugging the rooftop around to the back. And then the wire will go from there to there. So still one power bill, but two boxes, you know, so just in case that gets cut off, um, this gets cut off, it doesn't cause a fire. So we've just finished discussing where we're going to put all the plugs and switch and lights. And um, it'll get back to us. Hopefully it doesn't cost too much. I'm a little bit nervous on how much it can be because it's an electricity job. I got some staff to deliver the bamboo hut that I had at the other land because I think we'll be using it more here than over there. So they did that this morning. And we got some free plant from the builder's wife as a gift. So we just planted some plants around there. So once everything's all done, it should look look nice.
This is the kitchen sink. I put a tile there. I've cut it into, um, I cut it to suit because underneath there was rails and then water is going to come down to the floor so I just put a tile there. Just a basic kitchen really. And then at the back we're going to put more tiles here as a backsplash. These guys are working, starting to pick up the pace a lot now. They're working really fast. They're now starting to do the brickwork at the bottom. Um, they're actually working faster than what I want them to do. I want them to slow down a little bit because all the payment is now starting to come in all at once. And I'm just trying to figure out how to keep up with all the payments. Because um, we budgeted for the top part, that's all good. And then we wanted extra things like the bottom part and the carport and fixing this up. So it's all gonna, yeah, all about managing it. Today we've got a full team, we've got the Sparky doing their thing, we've got the three main builders doing their thing as well. So we've got one builder at the top there doing the ceiling work and three Sparky doing other things and then you've got two builders there doing the brickwork. So that ends this video but this is what we're up to now. After they do the brickwork, they'll be trying to finish that off and then um, I got them to do the, to redo the outdoor bathroom, outdoor toilet area. It's going to look ugly when you're up there and you're looking at an empty toilet. Well thanks for watching, I'll keep you updated on this build.